Okay, today we will discuss the resting membrane potential. Uh, you know that uh, the neuron exists actually in fluid environment. And it is surrounded by extracellular fluid and contains intracellular fluid. So neuron contains intracellular fluid, intracellular fluid, uh, the inside the environment which is found inside of the cell. So this is actually the inside of the neuron and this is the outside of the neuron. So neuron is surrounded by the extracellular fluid. This is the extracellular fluid and contains intracellular fluid. And this extracellular fluid and intracellular fluid is uh, keep separated by means of neuronal membrane. So neuronal membrane actually uh, keeps these extracellular fluid and intracellular fluid separated. And the main advantages of this is it play a very important role, uh, role in the electrical signals uh, that will pass through the neurons. And the electrical signals which pass through the neurons well depends on the intracellular and extracellular fluids being electrically different. So the electrical signals which goes uh, from extracellular to intracellular fluid well depend the differences in the charge particle. So the difference in charge across the membrane is actually called membrane potential. Membrane potential means the differences in the charge across the membrane means the differences in the charge from uh, outside of the cell and inside of the cell. These differences is called, these differences generated membrane potential and membrane potential actually provide energy for the signals for the action potential. So neuronal membrane actually play important role in the separation of the extracellular fluid and intracellular fluid. Both extracellular fluid and intracellular fluid contains different type of charges, sodium ions, chloride ion, potassium ions, and the differences of these electrical uh, charges uh, resulted uh, uh, electrical signals. And membrane potential, membrane potential means this actually membrane potential is the difference in the charge across the membrane. So the electrical charge which is generated uh, uh, by the fluid is caused by the charge molecule. These ions actually provided the electrical charge. So there are positively charged ions which is called cations and uh, there are negatively charged ions, this is called anions. Sodium ion, potassium ion, magnesium, and calcium, these are the positive ion, chloride ion, and protein that acts as anions. So uh, cations and anions are distributed in the extracellular and intracellular fluid. And the differences between these cations and anions actually resulted in the electrical charges that generate uh, electrical signals. And you know that the neuronal membrane, the, they are being a semi-permeable uh, nature uh, so uh, this neuronal membrane actually restrict the moment of some charge molecule. So resultantly, the semi-permeable nature of the neuronal membrane, some of the charged particles tend to become more concentrated either in the outside environment, either in the inside environment. So neuronal membrane is actually a semi-permeable in nature. They allow to pass some ions and they restrict the movement of some ions. So what is mean by resting membrane potential? Resting membrane potential is actually the voltage or charge difference across the cell membrane, across the neuronal membrane when the cell is at rest. So at resting stage, what is the membrane potential? This come under the resting membrane potential. Uh, it is the charge differences across the membrane, across the, the charge differences between the extracellular fluid and the intracellular fluid when cell is at rest. This is called resting membrane 
potential. So resting breath potential is actually a product of distribution of charged particles or ions. So this is the distribution of ions. This is the distribution of cations and anions from uh, between the extracellular and intracellular fluid when the cell is at resting state. So like uh, a rubber band stretch out and waiting to an action, ions are present or ions are lying off on either side on the extracellular and intracellular fluid of the cell membrane and they're ready to rush across the membrane when the, neuro, when the neuron goes active and the membrane open its gaps. So the sodium potassium pump that allows movement of ion across the membrane. So ions are distributed across the membrane and these are ready to rush across the membrane when an action potential is generated. So Iron is high, in a high concentration area are ready to move to low concentration area. Generally, ions are moving from higher concentration area to low concentration area. Our positive ions are ready to move to area with a negative charge area. So if the uh, extracellular fluid have high positive concentration, so they will move from the extracellular fluid to intracellular fluid. If inside the cell the negative charge are high, so the negative charge will move from the inside to the outside cell. So at resting state, resting state, resting membrane potential, ions are present on outside and inside of the cells. And when uh, there is actually a signals or action potential is generated, so uh, charge particles will move from outside to the inside in, uh, environment. So in the resting state, sodium is a, at a high concentration outside the cell. When cell is at resting uh, stage, at resting membrane potential, sodium concentration is higher in the outside uh, uh, environment. So in the extracellular fluid, sodium concentration is high. So uh, it will tend to move into the inside environment of the cell because sodium concentration is higher uh, in the extracellular fluid. And potassium, on the other hand, potassium ion is more concentrated inside the cell. So when the cell is at resting stage, the sodium concentration will be high uh, in the extracellular fluid while potassium concentration will be high inside the cell. So when the, uh, when the membrane potential is generated, so sodium will tends to move inside while potassium will move from the inside to the outside environment. Apart from these uh, sodium and potassium, the inside of the cell is slightly negatively charged as compared to the outside when the cell is at resting st state. So uh, at resting membrane potential, the inside of the cell is slightly negatively charged as compared to the outside. So this provide additional force on sodium uh, and that will causing it move to inside the cell because inside when the cell is at resting state the intracellular fluid is negatively charged inside of the cell is more negatively as compared to the outside of the cell so sodium will move from outside to the inside of the cell so uh, at resting potential Sodium is more highly concentrated outside the cell. So when the cell is at resting condition, that uh, in the resting state, the sodium concentration, this is the sodium concentration, it will be high in the extracellular fluid. This is the extracellular fluid. And this is the inside of the cell or intracellular fluid. So sodium concentration will be high in the extracellular fluid. Where potassium concentration is high inside the cytoplasm or in intracellular fluid. So when the cell is at, at resting membrane potential, resting membrane potential, the sodium concentration will be high uh, in the extracellular fluid and potassium concentration will be high in the 
intracellular fluid. Uh, other molecules like chloride ions uh, and some negatively charged proteins, they will be more inside of the cell. These are the chloride ions, uh, help contribute to a positive net charge in the extracellular fluid and negative net charge in the intracellular fluid. Uh, and the other is such as chloride ion and negatively charged proteins help contribute to positive net charge in the extracellular fluid and a negative net charge in the intracellular fluid. So at resting state, the extracellular fluid will be more positive as compared to the inside of the cell. From the resting potential state, the neuron receive a signal and its cell state change abruptly. So when a neuron receives signals, uh, small pores or gates or channel uh, in the neuronal membrane open. After opening up these membranes, sodium ion, uh, sodium ion propelled by both charges and concentration differences to move into the cell as sodium concentration are high in the extracellular fluid so when the gates or channel become open so sodium will enter into the inside cell from the outside environment so within the influx of positive ion the internal charge of the cell membrane become more positive since sodium enter uh, from the outside to the inside so the internal charge become uh, the internal extracellular fluid become more positive if the charge uh, reaches a certain level and uh, level that produce a threshold of excitation so the neuron become active and the action potential will be generated from the uh, resting st state uh, if uh, they have able to produce a threshold of excitation then the neuron become active and the action potential be begins to generate it the process when the cell charge become positive or less negative is called depolarization and this stage is called depolarization of the membrane so resting membrane potential resting membrane potential means uh, the voltage differences across the cell membrane when cell is at rest so at resting stage the outside the cell is more positive as compared to the inside of the cell Thank you.